The Bodycraft VR200 is the second up in this reputable brand's line of rowing machines. But while the VR100 was a pretty good rower at the budget end, and the VR500 is an awesome machine at the top end, the VR200 is a middle-of-the-road piece of equipment. If it was $150 cheaper, it would be a great buy. But when it's pitched directly against the undisputed market leader from Conceptuo, then it has to be something special to tempt buyers. But as good as this could be, that is, it's built well with some quality components, it doesn't really cut the mustard, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. The good points are this is an easy rower to assemble. Took just under 30 minutes without the need to be an expert at do-it-yourself. The frame is sturdy and the aluminum beam allows for a smooth and quiet ride. The rowing position is good, the seat is, okay, if not the best around. But one positive is that it sits at 15.5 inches off the ground so is a good height if your knees or back aren't what they used to be. The all-important footrests are well designed and will keep your feet in place and situated wide enough apart for comfortable use. The handle is well padded and thick so hand blisters shouldn't be a problem even with regular use. The six resistance levels are provided by a combination of air and magnets and is quiet for a rowing machine that uses air. However, the resistance level is selected manually by turning a knob in the central column which means you have to stop rowing if you wish to alter the setting. This isn't a deal breaker for most because you can raise your heart rate by increasing stroke rate anyway plus it's a myth that the highest resistance levels deliver the best results. The console slash display. The console is a big letdown in our view. You'd expect more from a rowing machine costing this much. Yes it displays all the data you would such as time rowed, distance in meters, calories burned, time over 500 m, number of strokes, and strokes per minute. SPM. The LCD screen is large enough to read easily when working out, and it's pretty easy to use. But, it's not compatible with a heart rate monitor so heart rate training is a non-starter. It has no PC compatible or online features where much of the competition now boasts this excellent feature that helps with motivation. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end. It would be a great pleasure for us if you are a little help with this video. Comment us below.